Hi, I'm organizational expert Jill Pollock, and I'm here bringing you your lifestyle style secret. Jill Pollock is here, and she's cleaned up the acts of Hollywood stars. Jill and I have been working together for about a year, and Jill really turned my life around. I'm here to meet with Rochelle because apparently her desk is a mess, but I'm going to straighten her out. I knew of Jill Pollock long before Rochelle found her, and she really does know her stuff. When organizing, in general, is the three P's, I like to say. Purge, proximity, and practicality. Let's see what's going on in this overstuffed wallet. <laughs> All this stuff came out of here. Getting organized is inextricably bound with eco-friendly lip. Never use bottles and get them out of your life. All those gift certificates that expire, put them up there. Make sure you get those facials on time because they will expire. If it's not for your taxes or something to return, garbage. garbage. Right. What's going on here? You just need to find the right place for things. The principles of organizing are pretty, you know, much the same whether you're working in the kitchen, whether you're working on your desk, whether you're working in the closet. It's an interesting to see what you've kept and why you've kept it. Inventory is the first step you have to take. Where you were, where you are, and where you want to be. So in doing so, there are categories. There could be very specific categories like my career or um, household items. It's not just a system for everybody. It's about knowing the person and how they think and making it best use uh, for them. You know, not everyone is right-handed. If you're left-handed, maybe the drawer should be on the left side. Junk mail is one of the biggest clutter collectors of all time. The first thing you can do about getting rid of your junk mail is go to greendimes.com. They'll get rid of your junk mail, stop your junk mail, and plant trees. I'm going to show you how to make this area your command center so you can walk out of the house every day with everything you need and on time. Creating a Zen deck. Now the junk drawer is a scary thing when you open it up and it looks like this, but really it has all the important items that you want and need you just can never find because it's all in the junk drawer. That's your lifestyle style secret. Take everything out! Oh. And food and tea and sippy cups. So we're going to put things back. Now this obviously to me is a pantry. Proximity is the things that you use most of the time should be close to you. So what you need to do is concentrate on what foods you use most of the time. This is the practicality step. Putting like things together with like uses. The sippy cups all go on a shelf. That way, whenever the kid needs a sippy cup, it's right there. Certainly we can get I rid of like that. I don't like those. Yeah. And these. I mean, you know, I feel like I Joan Crawford, but no more wire hangers. <laughs> you have to get on your hands and knees and get your shoes like that. Your flip flops were way under. Take baby steps and start learning where things go. Right now, everything, your room is just a catch-all for everything. A great way to clean it is to pour a couple of teaspoons of salt in. Really? Some crushed ice. Here, let's Take do it with that. our hands, yeah, shall we? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And then what? You let it sit for a second. Really? Swirl it around with that salt and abrasive. Shall we pour in the yeah, sink? Yeah, yeah, pour it in Cleans the sink. it right up. And plus the salt is a great, you know, odor taker away. Ah. So it's nice and clean. I love that. You really want to rinse it. And then you rinse it, it because so we don't want salty coffee. No salty coffee. <laughs> Is your clutch always so crammed you can't get it to close? Before you know it, you've lost your favorite lip gloss, or even worse, your bank card or ID. I'm Jill Pollock, and I'll show you some tricks on how to fit all your necessities in your small going out bag to ensure a safe, stretch-free, and stylish night out on the town. All right, let's see what's going on here. Oh, dear. So obviously, all this stuff doesn't fit into the small clutch, so you have to pare down what you don't need and only keep what you need. So obviously, you need the phone. You need your keys, but you don't need all of this. I suggest keeping an extra set and always keeping it in your going out bag. And now the makeup bag. Let's be honest. You don't need the whole cosmetic counter with you in the evening. Just pick a few important things and put it in your purse. A three-in-one product is great for taming flyaways, little lip gloss, and a cuticle moisturizer. You always want to have your breath mints to freshen up. You never know. And if you must, a lip gloss. And don't forget the hair elastic in case you want to get crazy on the dance floor. And of course, the tampon. And you don't need this big wallet. This is your everyday wallet. I like to take things out and just keep it tight. You need your ID, debit card, credit card, and your Metro card. Clip them together, put them in your purse, and that way they won't be rummaging around in the bottom of your bag. And always keep a $20 bill in your purse because you never know. Fits all in one. You're good to go low maintenance you see. With these tips you'll have everything you need for a memorable night out. And for more classy clutch looks go to Noelle's Picks in the Style section. For more organizational help go to my website. I'm Jill Pollock. Thanks for clicking on.